All right, we're doing this brief video here for John who had a question regarding the wiring on the Duramax XP10,000E generator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a close-up here so we can hopefully answer John's question regarding where the white wire is actually connected to. So I'm going to go ahead and pan around over here. And we're going to look over here and see if I can't get a little farther down in here. I've got a trouble light here so we can hopefully light things up a little bit. Really don't see uh, too much wiring I mean, because it's covered by the shielding right over here. Let's see that. Probably get a better angle over here. And we can take a look inside here and we can see some of the wiring back there. Uh, that's not a white wire though, that's a black wire. So we're looking for a white wire. Uh, my guess is some sort of ground. Or possibly for the starter. And we see the white wire over here. And we'll take a look at this. Let me get this situated here. You can take a look there. 16 horsepower engine. Find somewhere to clip this onto. Yeah, I'm not going to find anything. Anyway, we can take a look here at the white wire. And it's coming up right here. And that white wire goes into a transfer. And then it goes into the main wiring. So I don't know if I can actually answer that question. I don't see it going into the battery. Uh, what, what I can recall when I did the wiring on it, uh, the white wire did not go into the battery. But it's possible that it's just tied off in here and maybe they switched the design slightly. Uh, but in any event, that's a closer look at the wiring here for you, John. Uh, hopefully this answers some questions for you. You can compare it to your unit. I know the Duramax XP10,000E has underwent some improvements since their original design. Uh, most notably, uh, right on the top, right there is the fuel gauge, uh, which you know I know the newer newer versions have this, but some of the older ones don't, and that was one of the complaints people had. And apparently they had taken it out because it was leaking. Uh, but this doesn't leak. I mean, no problems with that whatsoever. Let's see if we can get anything else up front here. That's my wiring job there. Nothing over here. Once again, try to get down in here a little bit. See some of the wiring. All right, John, I hope that answers your question there. And where the white wire goes, it looks like it ties off into a splitter and it goes into the main harness there. But no, I do not recall white wire actually coming into contact with that battery.